So this is how you can use Apple Configurator on iPhone. First, you're going to want to download the Apple Configurator on the App Store. And once you launch it, you're supposed to sign in with a managed Apple account from Apple School Manager, Apple Business Manager, or Apple Business Essentials. Once you've signed in with your email address, let's move on to the actual tutorial. So I'm going to show you this. To use Apple Configurator on your iPhone to add devices to ASM, ABM, or ABE, you'll need to launch the app, then either scan a pairing image on the device you're adding or manually enter a code, and then follow the instructions. So here's a more detailed breakdown. Starting with the prerequisites, you need Apple Configurator. Make sure you download it on the App Store and manage Apple ID. You'll need a managed Apple ID with the appropriate role. For example, device enrollment manager. And the device, of course, you need to have either an iPhone, iPad, or Mac. Next, if you want to add a device, launch Apple Configurator on your iPhone and then tap on the device that you want to add. Here are the pairing methods. You can either scan pairing image by bringing your iPhone with Apple Configurator close to the device and scan the image that appears in Setup Assistant, or you can manually pair by tap on Pair Manually in the lower left corner of the Setup Assistant on the device. Tap on Manual Pairing in the Apple Configurator on your iPhone and enter the six-digit code that appears on the device. Follow on-screen instructions and wait for the process to complete and follow any further prompts, and erase and shut down. Once the process is complete, tap on Erase and Shutdown to prepare the device for enrollment. And that's pretty much it. That is how you can use Apple Configurator on your iPhone. You can now connect devices and shut down devices if you, if you would like to. So that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and let us know in the comments down below if the tutorial worked or if you have any questions. Thank you and goodbye.